lineups. As the Lake City High School Band, under the direction of Steve Richard Fowler, plays our national anthem. Number 45, Wayne Crump. 
Number 51, Bob Anderson. Number 53, Steve Tolbert. And now the starting lineup for the Cowboys, coached by Steve Lift. The champions of Region 6A at the forwards, a 6'2 senior, number 23, Stan Eckhart. A 6'3 senior, number 35, Ron Wessels. A 6'5 senior, number 55, Barry Ness. A 6'0 senior at the guards, number 11, Scott Lipp. And a 6'1 senior, number 15, Mike Yeagy. Well, there you have the introduction of the two clubs. Before we start, Raj, I guess we should uh, pay a little bit of honor to a fellow that hasn't missed too many of these tournaments, Sid Hartman of the Minneapolis paper, who's got a broken arm and couldn't make it this year, so we hope he's watching. 21 and 4. Breckenridge overall record. 24 and 1 is the record of Lake City. And in case you're confused about that 7-1 and three-quarter introduction for Randy Brewer, they remeasured him during the tournament and found that he had passed the seven-foot-one mark now in his stocking feet. He's only been here two days. Had a heck of a meal. I guess so. Opening tip control by the Breckenridge Cowboys, dressed in green. Today, Lake City is in white. This is Scott Lip with it. He's number 11. Yegi will take the first shot of the game. Rebound to Willards. Breckenridge picking up all over the court. See how they approach Randy Brewer. We're going to double team him. Front and back. First shot for Lake City comes up short. That's Pat Kennedy recovered by Breckenridge. And Yegi sends Lip into the forecourt. No score. Ball game just underway. Yegi again. Lip and Yegi play a little catch. Concentrating on the left side so far. Now Ekron. All stolen away from Ron Wessels and back on the Lake City Tigers with Pat Kennedy. Man to man defense for Breckenridge. But they'll be collapsing on Randy Brewer all day. You'll be assured of that. Willers around and out. Rebound to Ness. Breckenridge fast breaking with Lip. They'll bring it up court in a hurry if they can. Knocked away in the first foul of the game. Is against number 10, Craig Powers of Lake City. I think what we well as we watch that foul ball again, I think Roger watching the pattern of play. Breckenridge appears to want to work the ball inside. Now that might not make too much sense, but. They may try to work on Randy Brewer and try to get him in foul trouble. Ekron will put it in play on the side. Brings it into lip. Still no score. Six and a half minutes to go first period. Lake City in the zone. Rebound comes down. Recovered by Lake City. That's Anderson with it. And he gives it off to Kennedy. Kennedy into Brewer. Marshally blocked and recovered by Wessels of Breckenridge. Well, you saw what happened. They knocked it out of Brewer's hands before he got it up. They just collapsed all over him. Lip does not get it. Rebound loose and picked up by Kennedy of Lake City. As Randy Brewer turned to make that shot as he got it about waist high, they reached in and slapped it. Didn't let it get up over his head. Thank Kennedy with it. Get it to him high and he's going to have to keep it up there. Willers. First basket for him and the first basket of the game. Steve Willers of Lake City breaks the ice. It's 2 0. Championship game in Class A. Yegi inside for Ness. Back to Yegi. Has a little trouble with it. Got it back out to Lip. 2 3 zone for Lake City. That one is blocked by Brewer. And Lake City recovers it. Kennedy. He will handle the ball most of the time out court for Lake City. Of course, they are always looking inside. Powers with it. Willers took a look, gave it off to Anderson. 4 0 Lake City. Now, Roger, we talked about this last night. A lot of talk about Randy Brewer, but those other four guys are so important. Scott Lipp breaks the ice for Breckenridge. It's 4 2. 
4.50 to go in the first period. Lake City with the ball and a 4-2 lead. Kennedy for Willers. Inside the door, double teamed immediately. And a foul is called against Stan Ekron, number 23. Well, again, they collapse. Man behind, man in front. Ekron there in front, and he's the man that committed the foul. First team foul for Breckenridge, as well as the first personal against Ekron. There's something on the floor. I tell you, it's Pat Kennedy, you got to be versatile to play in this tournament. Sure do. Wonder if he's got his union card. <laughs> Pat Kennedy did a little light housekeeping now, ready to go again. Steve Willers will put it in play for Lake City. Kennedy with it. Anderson looking inside for Brewer. Six to two, Lake City. First basket for Brewer. Lip for Breckenridge. Gets it off to Yegi. Inside to Ness. Yegi will take the shot. His own rebound. Rebound scramble picked up by Powers. Kennedy in the forecourt for Lake City. The Tigers lead it 6-2. to two. Now Pat Kennedy's going to have to have some help as the ball died on him there. Powers. Take a look. And the Brewer. The left-hander this time. Rebound to Brewer. Brewer again. Well, Randy Brewer showing a little bit of muscle of his own that time, and that's the first time in the tournament, Roger. I think I've seen him go to his left. 8-2 to two, Lake City. As they jump off to a quick lead, three and a half minutes to go first period. Lip with it, gets it off to Yegi of Breckenridge. Ekron. Off Kennedy's leg, and Kennedy recovers it. Gets it off to Brewer, and Kennedy will bring it up. Here's Jerry Schneider, who looks very worried despite an 8-2 lead. Powers. Rebound to Ekron. Breckenridge fast breaking. This is Lip. Ekron. His first basket. It's eight to four, Lake City. Man to man press by Breckenridge, handled easily by Kennedy. Gives it off to Willers, but Anderson picked it up. Knocked away from him, and he goes out to get it. And they'll set it up again with Kennedy. Willers for Powers. Rebound to Brewer. Knocked away from him. A foul is called against Ness. Brewer comes down with a rebound. And Ness right there across the front of the body and on his forearms. So Randy Brewer will have two shots coming. His team is out in front. Eight to four. We have 228 to go in the first period. No, Roger, we talk about Powers, Anderson, Kennedy, and Willers. They've got double duty because when they go back on defense, they've got to contain the other team's fast break until Randy Brewer can catch up on the play. Brewer with a second of two. Didn't get either one. Rebound to Wessels of Breckenridge. Score remains 8-4. The Breckenridge Cowboys behind but with the ball. Knocked away from Lip. He recovers it. Rebound to Powers. Here's it off to Kennedy in backcourt. Kennedy working against Ekron. Powers. Rebound to Yegi. Back comes Breckenridge. Not much time remaining, first period. Yegi gets it off to Lip. Yegi again, looking at that Lake City zone. Akron. Rebound to Kennedy. Well, Steve Lip a little concerned about that because there was no green uniform around that board that time. In the Brewer. He has six points. Ten to four, Lake City over Breckenridge with 125 remaining in the first period. Championship of Class A for 1978. 
Ekron. Brent Wessels. No luck on it. Came out to Brewer. One minute to go in the period. 10 to 4 Lake City. Exactly the position that the Tigers like to be in. Willers with the shot. Brewer will draw the personal. He's first. Well, that time Randy Brewer reached in as he was partially boxed out on a rebound and you see that Breckenridge had pretty good position on this rebound and Randy trying to reach in for the ball went in over the shoulder. So the Cowboys of Breckenridge get it with less than a minute remaining. Yegi with it across for Ekron. Lip. Rebound to Kennedy. He's doing a good job on the boards at this point. Call against Stan Ekron. That's his second. Now here's Pat Kennedy, the young man Roger is talking about, and it's his responsibility to get that ball up the court. And that time, the foul called when uh, Lip reached in, or uh, Ekron reached in. Kennedy in control with 27 seconds remaining in the period. Gore gets it back to Kennedy, and he's all alone at the free throw line. His first basket. And Lake City leads at 12-4. Breckenridge will take the last shot of the period. If they can do that a little bit, spring somebody loose, it'll take some of the pressure off Brewer. Seven seconds. Better look at the clock. I'm not sure they know how much time is left. Wessels gets it. That's it. The end of the first period with the score. Lake City 12 and Breckenridge 4. Looks like you're having a good time anyway, isn't it? Well, that's what the tournament's all about. 12-4, Lake City has the lead at the end of a quarter. Ness will jump against Brewer to begin the second period. Controlled again by Breckenridge. They've won two straight tips here. Brewer's gotten the tip, but Breckenridge has gotten the ball. This is Yegi. 2-3 zone for Lake City as they played all tournament. Lip with it. Gives it back to Lip. And the Wessels. Foul is called number 30, Pat Kennedy. That's his first. Third team foul for Lake City. Here it is again. Ball in the middle. And as so often happens, up on the arms. Ron Wessels at the free throw line for Breckenridge. He'll have two shots. That makes it 12-5, Lake City. Wessels converts the pair. It's 12-6, Lake City over Breckenridge, early in the second period. Lake City has been uh, affected almost not at all by this Breckenridge press today. Anderson with it. Willers. Working around the perimeter, looking inside all the time. Powers. And they set it up again with Kennedy. Powers inside for Brewer. Traveling, I do believe. Yes, it is. Breckenridge gets it on the turnover. So Stan Ekron puts it in play in backcourt. And Lip brings it across the time strike. Got lip. He has four points, and it's 12-8, Lake City. As you look at Steve Lip, the gentleman on your right with the boutonniere. Oh, Randy Brewer is popular in Lake City. He took two dribbles and got a standing ovation. <laughs> Powers works it around to Kennedy. Powers looking inside the Brewer. Anderson again. Lane violation against Lake City. 
Breckenridge will take over. They trail it by four at 12-8. Jerry Snyder looks a bit more concerned now. 6.24 to go, second period. At least as concerned as a man can be with a seven-foot center. <laughs> Yegi with it. Back out front to Lip. Ekron tried to get it inside, got the ball back as it was tipped away by Kennedy into Wessels. Knobs it out for Yegi and they'll set it up again with Lip. Yegi. Rebound, Wessels. Oh, excuse me, Ness. Very Ness. Well, all of a sudden you got a brand new ball game going. 12-10, Lake City now by two. Kennedy in the forecourt. Against Lip. Still a man-to-man -man defense for Breckenridge. Ball stolen by Wessel. They break out two on one. Lip the ball away. Double dribble. No, travel, excuse me. And they turn it over. Now Breckenridge came down with a chance to tie, but couldn't get it, so Lake City takes over in backcourt. Craig Powers will put it in play. Well, they've changed now. Ekron has taken Kennedy. Willers with a shot. Steve Willers has four points. And it's 14-10 Lake City in front. Five minutes to go, second quarter. Ekron off the side of the backboard. Recovered by Brewer. Lost it. Lip gets it. Blocked by Brewer and he recovers it. Foul is called against Scott Lip. Foul called against the Cowboys. Number 11, Scott Lip. That's his first. His team's fourth. And again, Breckenridge with full court pressure. But so far, that has not presented a problem to Lake City. Kennedy gets it off to Anderson. Put it right in the hands of Eklund. I think Anderson is expecting Kennedy to start down the lane. He didn't do it. And Eklund wound up with the ball. This is Ekron to Yegi. Back out front to Ekron. 14-10, Lake City leads it. We are in the second quarter. 4-10 remaining in the half. Yegi. Air ball, but it's recovered by Ekron. However, right into the hands of Pat Kennedy of Lake City. Goes all the way with it. Kennedy. He has four points. And Lake City leads it by six. 16-10, 3.50 to go, second period. Ness off the glass. Larry Ness has four. It's 16-12, Lake City over Breckenridge. Kennedy down court quickly. I'll tell you, for, it's stolen away by Lip. Scott Lip is one on two, but he's going all the way anyway. Foul is called against Powers. I see if the basket counts. I don't think it will. No basket on the play. No basket. Powers. Number 10, Craig Powers. Second, Second the personal foul. Lip got him up in the air and drew the foul. Into Wessels. Rebound to Willers. Kennedy with it. Plays it off to Powers. He's going to take the shot. Craig Powers, he has his first basket. And it's 18-12, Lake City again by six. Breckenridge in the forecourt with Scott Lip. Takes it off to Ekron. Lip again. Russells and Ekron. Lip in the lane to Ness. Very Ness. That's six points. 18-14. Lake City by four. 2.39 to go, second period. Kennedy with it. 
Sends the pass into Brewer and didn't get it this time. Rebound picked up by Yegi. And that's one of the very few close-in shots that Randy Brewer has missed in this entire tournament. This is Wessel. Trying to lay it off inside to Ness. Stolen away by Lake City's Craig Powers. Kennedy will bring it up. Willers with a shot. Rebound to Wessel. Lake City doing a pretty good job of getting back. Long one by Lip. Rebound to Willers. Breckenridge wants the fast break, but Lake City's doing a good job of getting back on defense. Very, in fact, I cannot recall a transition basket for Breckenridge today. Another basket for Steve Willers. And he has six points. 20 to 14. Lake City again by six as Coach Jerry Snyder of the Tigers looks on. Lip gets it off to Yegi. Ekron with it for Lip. Wrestles across court for Yegi. Goes all the way with it. Blocked out of bounds. The foul is called. Steve Willers wants his first personal. Number 33, Kevin Smith checks in for Breckenridge. He's a senior, 5 feet 9. Both teams now in the bonus. But Mike Yegi is at the free throw line for two shots. He was thought on the act of shooting. And give him a chance. Yegi has not scored yet this afternoon. Yegi gets one of two. 20 to 15, Lake City by five. With one minute remaining in the second period. They'll set it up with Kennedy. Smith against him. Smith really going after Kennedy. I don't think they want him to handle the ball quite as much as he has been, so Breckenridge being a little more aggressive on him at this point. Willers will try. And a foul called over the shoulder of Scott Lip. Foul called against the Tigers for Craig Powers. Craig Powers. In third. Third foul on Powers. That could be a factor later on. Well, Jerry Snyder very quickly gets him out of the ball game with only 40 seconds remaining in the half, but it's a one-on-one one situation coming up for Scott Lipp. Number 24, Boyd Snyder. 6-1 junior has checked in for Lake City. Lipp will get another. 20-16. to 16. Again, Breckenridge has whittled that margin down to four. And three, 20-17, to 17, Lake City in front. 40 seconds to go in the first half. Kennedy brings it up against Smith. Anderson with a long run. Whoa. Wow, Anderson. Bottom fell out on that one. Four right, points for Anderson. To watch. <laughs> 22-17. Breckenridge will probably hold it for the last shot. 13 seconds to go in the half. Nine seconds. We better make a move soon. We're down to six. Yegi will try it. Ball loose, recovered by Brewer, and that's it. The end of the first half with the score. Lake City 22 and Breckenridge 17. Right now, Lake City leads at 22-17 as we prepare for the second half. Randy Brewer will tip off for Lake City, number 55, Barry Ness, for Breckenridge. Tip control by Lake City. Kennedy has it. Breckenridge remains in a man-to-man -man defense. They have from the very beginning of the game. You can see Brewer double-teamed inside. Kennedy, Rick Willers with a shot, excuse me. Rebound to Ekron. Back comes Breckenridge with lift. Again, Lake City gets back very well. Ekron with a shot. Anderson comes down with a rebound. 
Joe, I think that's been one of the factors in the game as well. Lake City's gotten back on defense very good. They have. Very, they, Powers, Willis, Anderson, Kennedy, they all really hustle back. Kennedy with it. Gives it off to Willers. Steve Willers has eight points in the game. The 24-17 lead for Lake City. Scott Lip of Breckenridge. They'll set it up there. Still a 2-3 zone for the Lake City Tigers. Wessels with a shot. In and out. Tipped once. No good. Long rebound. Picked up by Wessels. Gives it off to Lip. He has eight. And it's 24-19. And again, Lake City handles the press. Very handily. Kennedy with it. Tried to jam it inside. Knocked away, but recovered by Powers. Anderson down the baseline. Lays it off to Kennedy. Rebound to Brewer. Brewer has eight. It's 26-19. Lake City in front. Wessels with it. Back out to Lip. Two in a row for Scott Lip. He has 10. 26-21. Lake City in front. Kennedy in backcourt. Double team. Still works into the forecourt. It over to Powers. And they'll set it up again with Kennedy. Willers with a shot. Rebound Kennedy. Pat Kennedy has six, and it's 28-21. Again, Lake City by seven. Yegi with it. Back to Lip. Yegi couldn't handle that pass, but got it back again. on the other side. Tied with Ekron. Wessels has it blocked by Brewer and he recovers it. Anderson in the forecourt for Lake City. Kevin Smith will check back in for Breckenridge. With the first opportunity. Powers inside for Brewer. Brewer has 10. 30-21. Lake City now by nine. Lip. Tipped once by Ness. Comes down to Brewer and a foul is called. Wessels with a foul. His first. Second in for the Cowboys, number 33, Kevin Smith. Foul number 35, Ron Wessels. They'll talk it over. A timeout on the foul floor. It's Lake City 30. Breckenridge 21. First, it's the team. Discover that great... 30-21 with 4.40 to go in the third quarter. Lake City up by nine. And right now, Roger, Lake City has gone back to the <clears throat> uh, pattern they used earlier in the game, getting the ball underneath to Randy Brewer. As long as they have the lead, they're going to be very, very tough to handle. Steve Lipp of Breckenridge said, we got to get out and get ahead of them. But they've not been able to do it. Breck Lake City with a nine-point lead and the ball at this moment. This is Kennedy. Powers with it. To Willers. Kennedy. Anderson will try it. Bill Anderson has six points. 32-21, biggest lead of the day for Lake City. This for the championship in Class A. Coming up on the halfway point of the third quarter. Smith. Got it. First basket for Kevin Smith. Eight point lead, or nine point rather, for Lake City. Offensive foul on the backcourt. Brewer. Well, Randy Brewer wound up on top. Uh, Kevin Smith, but Brewer got the foul. Yagi will put it in play. And Yegi will take the shot. Yegi. Mike Yegi has three points. It's 32-25. Lake City now by seven. Anderson gets into the forecourt for Lake City. Double teamed immediately. Gets it off to Kennedy. 
Foul will be against number 33, Kevin Smith. His first. Well, here's Kennedy with the ball. Smith on him. And he's got the body up against him. Steve Willers will put it in play for the Tigers. Into Kennedy. Three and a half minutes to go. Third quarter. Lake City out in front by seven. Ball tipped around. Recovered by Brewer. As it knocked away, we're going to have traveling against Randy Brewer. Fans from Breckenridge like that. Their team gets the ball back on the turnover. Yegi for Wessels. Underneath, Ness double team. He's going to foul call against number 30, Pat Kennedy. That's his second. Well, they got, it. They got the ball underneath, but could never really regain possession in time to get it up before Brewer came back on defense. But the foul committed by Kennedy. Very Ness with two shots for Breckenridge. We've got one more try. Seven point lead for Lake City at 32 25. 32 26. So Breckenridge has whittled five points off that Lake City lead in a pretty big hurry here. Powers in backcourt for the Tigers, gets it off to Kennedy. Anderson with a shot. Bill Anderson has eight points. That's the time left in the third quarter in an eight-point lead for Lake City. Breckenridge with the ball. Wessels almost lost it, got it back again. Smith has it blocked partially by Kennedy. Kennedy draws the foul. That's his third. Well, again, you'll see Pat Kennedy go up on Smith. Smith with two shots. Kennedy and Powers both with three fouls now for Lake City. One more shot for Smith. Didn't get either one. The rebound is to Kennedy. Kennedy looking inside for Brewer. Double teamed immediately. Willers lays it off to Powers. Knocked away from him, but recovered by Craig Powers. He'll set it up again out front with Anderson. He leaves it there for Kennedy. Powers for Kennedy. Lake City always looking inside. Two minutes to go, third quarter. Lake City with the ball on an eight-point lead at 34-26. Willers. Nash decided to just let it go, and Breckenridge will take over. Lip into the forecourt for the Cowboys. Gets it off to Wessels. Inside for Ness. Tipped away. Recovered by Willers. At Lake City, he's double teamed immediately and will have a jump ball. It'll be Willers and Wessels. Ball controlled by Breckenridge. Lip with it. Looking for help. Gets it there from Yegi. Lip again. He and Yegi play a little catch. Try the other side with Smith. Lip with the shot. That lip has 12. 34-28, Lake City by six. Inbound pass knocked away, but recovered by Lake City. And Kennedy will bring it up court. To Anderson, 
Kennedy again. Kennedy all the way. Stops near the baseline, puts it underneath all alone is Willers. Willers has 10. 36 28. Lake City by eight with a half a minute to go in the third quarter. Yegi will try it for Breckenridge. Foul away from the play under the basket. That's Steve Willers on the floor for Lake City. I think Barry Ness may have been the man called. Pushing off is the call. 35, not 55. Ron Wessels. Jim Marshall over to take a look at Steve Willers. He's up. Jerry Snyder's going to send Boyd Snyder in to replace him. Number 24, Brad Snyder. Boyd Snyder into the Lake City lineup. Well, Steve Wessels appears to be... Steve Willers, rather, appears to be all right, but he'll sit down for the balance of this period. Only 19 seconds remaining. Lake City to put it in play. And De Brewer. Oh, there's a convention right there. Kennedy finally gets control of it for Lake City. He's in the forecourt against Smith. Five seconds. They'll have to hurry. Kennedy. That's it. The end of the third quarter. With the score, Lake City 38 from Breckenridge 28. It's the best balance they've had in the tournament. And for Lake City, it could hardly have come at a better time. Tip control by Breckenridge. They've gotten the tip three of four quarters. Lip with it. Ekron back in the ball game. He's got the shot. Rebound to Brewer. Kennedy working against Smith. Foul against Smith. Kevin Smith got both hands behind his head saying, I can't wow. believe I did that. Well, he reached in, got him across the right forearm and across the body. Anderson with it. We'll set it up again with Kennedy. Breckenridge remains in a man-to-man. -man. Anderson. Bill Anderson has 10 points. 40 to 28, biggest lead of the day for Lake City, 12 points. 7-13 to go in the game. Smith, rebound, loose on the floor. Willers and Wessels tie it up. We'll have a jump ball. Tip control by Lake City's Craig Powers in backcourt, and he gives it there to Kennedy. Seven minutes remaining in the game. Lake City with a 12-point lead and the ball. Anderson with it. Anderson again. Kennedy. Kennedy with eight points. 42-28. Wessels. Rebound to Willers. Back comes Lake City again. They're two on one. Threw it away. So Breckenridge gets it on the turnover. Mike Yegi, number 15, checks back in, replacing Kevin Smith for the Cowboys. 14-point lead for Lake City. That's their biggest of the day. Scott Lip has it blocked away, but a foul called against Bill Anderson. That's his first. Foul called against the Packers, number 42. He's Bill number 42. His first. That's the key. Up in the score. air. And Scott and Lip will have two shots. Scott Lip.
Lip will get one more. 42-29. Lake City in front. That's the time remaining in the game. Rebound comes down to Brewer. And Kennedy brings it up against Yegi. Powers into Brewer. Brewer gets his own rebound. Brewer has 12 points. 44-29, a 15-point lead for Lake City. With 5.40 remaining, intercepted by Kennedy. Lake City getting a real handle on the game at this point. Kennedy gets it ahead to Willers. Kennedy for Powers. Anderson again. Oh, that's his spot. Bill Anderson has 12 points. 46-29 as Lake City opens it up. 5-10 to go in the game. Russell for Breckenridge. Tipped up and in by Ekron. Dan Ekron with four. 46-31. A 15-point lead for Lake City. Powers gets it out to Kennedy. Rebound to Willers. Out front to Anderson again. Bill Anderson with a hot hand and 16 points on the afternoon. 48-31, 17-point lead for Lake City, their biggest. Coming up on four and a half minutes. Lip with it. Rebound to Brewer. He's fouled by Ness. And Barry Ness has his second personal. Ness will be number 55 right behind Brewer. Right there. So back at this end, Randy Brewer will go to the free throw line for Lake City. Number 44, Randy Brewer. At the line. He'll have the one and one. Rebound comes down to Ekron. Up into the forecourt quickly. Breckenridge has to hurry. But right now, Lake City firmly in control of the ball game. That's Lip for Breckenridge. He has 16 or 15 points. 48-33, a 15-point lead again for Lake City. Willers with it. Four minutes to go. Foul out court. Against number 35, Ron Wessels, his third. Foul call against Ron Wessels and the Cowboys, number 35. And Steve Willers will be at the free throw line for Lake City. At the line for one and one, number 40, Steve Willers. <laughs> Willers with one more in the bonus. 49-33. Lake City in front. Fifty to thirty-three. Well, we said repeatedly, if you're playing Lake City, you've got to stop Brewer and make the other four guys beat you. And that's what's happening to Breckenridge here today. Lake City Tigers just three minutes and 40 seconds away from the Class A championship. And a pretty good handle on this ball game. Powers into Brewer. Brewer has 14. 52-33. Biggest lead of the day for Lake City at 19 points. Mike Yegi couldn't handle it off the dribble. And Lake City takes over in backcourt. Fouls against Mike Yegi. Number 15 for Breckenridge, so we'll go to the other end. And Pat Kennedy will go to the free throw line for Lake City. 
Yagi trying to make the intercept. Got there just that much too late. One and one for Kennedy. Rebound to Ness. Lip into the forecourt quickly for Breckenridge. Ekron will put it up. Comes up short. Rebound to Kennedy. Brewer gets it off to Willers. Anderson. Kennedy all the way. Kennedy has 10. 54-33. And Lake City's turned it into a route with 2.45 remaining. Scott Lip for Breckenridge. Not ready to give up yet. He has 17 points. Anderson had a little trouble. Got the ball back again. Now Willers. Kennedy with it. Brewer again. Double teamed. Out the Powers. Kennedy with it. Gives it off to Willers. 2-10 remaining. 19-point lead for Lake City. Anderson again. Bill Anderson has 12 points all on field goals in the last in the second half. He now has 16 for the game. 56-35. Again, a 21-point lead for Lake City. Scott left for Breckenridge. Rebound to Willers. Kennedy. Up very slowly for Lake City as Steve Lip sees it slipping away second by second. That's Powers. Craig Powers has four points. 58 35. Now a 23 point lead. Yegi for Breckenridge. Rebound, Kennedy. Back come the Tigers. Powers all alone. Missed the layup, but a foul was called against Ekron. That'll be two shots. I thank our crew here at the Civic Center today. Our directors have been Hans Versdahl, Dennis Burke, and Colin Williams. Assistant directors, Harold Moppin and Verge LaFond. Cameraman, Cliff Benson, Dale Harris, Pat Chenard, Randy Price on audio. Graphics by Al Golan. Technical directors, Harvey Carlson and Wes Kinney. Slow-mo, Bill Haig. And running the mini cam for our features today, Doug Fremming and Mike Young. Powers will get one more shot as he was fouled in the act of shooting. 58-35, a 23-point lead for Lake City. The Tigers are the Class A champions of 1978. Only the margin remains to be determined. Smith gets it off to Lip. Rebound tipped around, recovered by Scott Lip. We'll try another one. Rebound to Brewer. Foul in backcourt against Ron Wessel. That's his fourth. So at the free throw line for Lake City will be Randy Brewer and Jerry Snyder. Get some of his reserves in the game with just 54 seconds remaining. Steve Lipp is going to do the same for Breckenridge. We'll count them all off for you when we have a chance. Chip Commodore is in for Lake City. Don Hansen. Joe Russell. And Boyd Snyder. Number 53, Steve Tolbert has come in for Breckenridge. Greg Mock is number 31 for the Cowboys. 25, Kelly Booth. And number 13, Jason Patno. This is Randy Brewer. The one and one for Lake City. Rebound comes down to Steve Tolbert of Breckenridge. The Cowboys in a hurry. We're under 50 seconds. Smith with a shot. Gets it. Kevin Smith has four points. 58-37. A 21-point lead. 
for the Lake City Tigers. Going all the way with it and getting the basket. Number 32, Don Hanson. He'll get a chance at a three-point play. Now number 50, Steve Heska comes in the ball game, replacing Brewer. Kevin Smith threw the foul for Breckenridge. That is a very saddened young lady as she sees her team about to lose the Class A championship game. Hanson does not get the free throw. Breckenridge takes over. 60-37, half a minute remaining. Smith all the way to the baseline. Gets another one. The basket will count. Kevin Smith now with six points. Basket count for number 33. That much time separating the Lake City Tigers from the right to say we're number one for at least a year. Smith. Does not get the three-point play. Coming down to the rebound, Kelly Booth, and he was fouled. So here we go to the free throw line. Booth also will have the one and one. The last foul is against Chip Commodore, his first. One more free throw for Kelly Booth. 60 to 40. Remains so as Lake City gets the rebound, but they turn it over. And Breckenridge will get another shot at it. Kevin Smith gets another one. He's got eight points. 60 to 42, an 18 point lead for Lake City. 15 seconds remaining. Ball stolen in backcourt, and a foul is called. Greg Mock will go to the free throw line for Breckenridge. Foul is against Joe Russell. Foul on number 22. Number 22 for Lake City. Joe so with 11 Russell. seconds remaining, Greg Mock at the free throw line for Breckenridge. Number 39, 31. Greg he has Mock the one and one. The number 43, Tim Deal in the ball game now for Breckenridge. And Steve Lip. Getting as many players in the ballgame as he can. Tim Holden, number 41, coming in, also replacing Kevin Smith. <laughs> number 21, Wayne Crump, coming in. And number 45, John Rittenhouse, also coming in. For Breckenridge is Steve Lip. Here's his chance. Wants to give everybody a chance to say they played in a state tournament. Running number one and one for Greg Mock. He'll get one more. He converts a pair. Number 51, Bob Anderson. And the first day off the floor after the Coming game. in for Breckenridge. 60-44, Lake City leads it with 11 seconds to go. Breckenridge pressing. Now they'll just try and kill the clock. Joe Russell with it. He gets the shot away. Comes up short. Breckenridge trying to come back. Russell recovers it. The last shot of the game does not go without it. Lake City is the Class A champion for 1978. The final score, Lake City 60 and Breckenridge 44. 60 to 44 is our final. The Lake City Tigers are the Class A champions for this year. As they defeat Breckenridge in our title game this afternoon. Joe Boyle has the winning coach, Jerry Snyder, on the floor. Here's Joe. All right, Roger, thank you very much. Jerry, congratulations, Class A champion. Thank you very much, Joel. We're very happy. I think you proved to everybody today that you're not a one-man team. They played very, very well as a group. Well, of course, Randy gets most of the attention, but uh, we've known all along at Lake City that we uh, do have a good balance on our team, and uh, it was good that they came through today. 
You were pretty much in command. Breckenridge uh, caught up a little bit to the late in the uh, second quarter and early in the third. Were you were really concerned at any time? Yes, I was because I thought maybe the fatigue factor was setting in. Our team was tired, but uh, they toughed it out, Joe, and uh, won going away. Jerry, again, congratulations. Class A champs for the first time. Thank you very much, Joel. Okay. Jerry Snyder, head coach of Lake City. The award ceremony to be conducted by the president of the board of directors of the Minnesota State High School League, Dr. Roland DeLapp, principal of Minneapolis Washburn, assisted by league staff member Murray Frang. Each member of the official tournament squad received certificates of participation. Silver medals and the runner-up trophy for the Class A division will be presented to the Breckenridge Cowboys. Would the entire team please come forward for your awards? Silver medals and runner-up trophy to the Breckenridge Cowboys, winners of Region 6A, coached by Steve Lipp. gentlemen how about a fine round of applause for a fine basketball team out of Breckenridge Minnesota and now the Minnesota State High School League Class A state champion for 1977-78 the Lake City Tigers Joe Boyle is surrounded on the court, so let's go down to Joe. Well, I'm surrounded by Tigers. A uh, bunch of Class A champions, the Lake City Tigers right here. <laughs> Tell you what we're going to do. You know, we watch all you guys play down on the floor, and we never get a chance to really meet you, so I'm going to ask you to spread out, and we're going to go right across and meet every one of you individually, okay? That includes starters and everybody, so let's come right over here, and I don't want to stand in front of you. Why don't you give us your name? Chip Commodore. Okay, Chip, who have we got next? Sid Hegseth. Sid? Craig Powers. Okay. Boyd Snyder. Boyd? Steve here, Willers. Okay, we got a couple guys back here. Bill Anderson. Okay, Bill. Randy Swanson. Okay. Pat Kennedy. Pat Kennedy, I know who this guy is. Randy Brewer. Okay, Randy. <laughs> Joe Russell. Okay. Don Hanson. I don't think we got you yet, did we? No. Oh, Swede. Mike, oh, Mike Augustinson. Okay. <laughs> Scott Swanson. Scott. Carl Wyman. Okay. Steve Aska. All right, okay. Yes. Now, you've got your medals, you've got uh, the big trophy. What are you going to do with your medals? Put them on the jackets. <laughs> <laughs> Not going to give it to a girl, huh? My goodness oh, sakes. Yeah. <laughs> a lot, you know, you guys have read a lot. Uh, you've heard a lot about uh, the fact that, uh, oh, maybe Randy's the key guy. I think today, Randy, that you guys proved that you're a team, and it isn't just one guy, it's a whole bunch of guys, right? That's right. That's what we work for. Right. Randy, how's the ankle, first of all? It's fine. There's no pain. <laughs> Nothing is going to hurt this afternoon. Hey, guys, congratulations. Maybe we'll see you back again next year. Yeah. Thank you. Lake City. There you have it, the Lake City Tigers. Let's go back up to Roger. Let's run down the scoring in the game, first of all, for the victorious and Class A champion Lake City Tigers. Uh, Craig Powers finished with four points this afternoon. Bill Anderson had 16. Randy Brewer, 14. Now, that gives you a notion of what Joe talked about and Jerry Snyder talked about as well, the winning coach. They are not a one-man team, and they demonstrated that very graphically here this afternoon because of the final statistics. Randy Brewer with 14. Pat Kennedy had 10. And Steve Willers with 12 points. So Lake City had four players between uh, 12 and 16 points today. Don Hansen also had two points for the Tigers today. For Breckenridge, Scott Lipp finished with 17. He was the high scorer in the game. Mike Yegi had three, Barry Ness seven, Stan Ekron four, Ron Wessels had two, Kelly Booth with one, Greg Mock with two, and Kevin Smith finished with eight points for Breckenridge here this afternoon.